Welcome to Canva Creatives Hub. We are uploading daily Canva tutorials. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed, if you find any value in this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about Canva AI image generation. So let's begin. So once you're in your Canva account, you are going to need a pro account in order to use most of these um, premium features. But once you're inside of Canva, you'll come over here to the Magic Studio section, right? And once you scroll down, there's a bunch of different options, but what we're talking about today is just the image, AI image creation. So there's a couple of different ways you can get to this. You can actually go and create a new image or whatever you're working on, and then you can find it in the dashboard there. Um, but you can also go to Magic Studio over here and then just scroll all the way down right over here and then you can see this text to image uh, section right here and you'll just click on that and you'll say try it out <clears throat> it'll pop open a, um, you know an extra window for you and then we can begin with our prompts so we're automatically going to be in like an Instagram uh, one by one uh, size but we can easily change the uh, size of this to anything we want. But for now, we will just uh, pretend like we are making like an Instagram post or Instagram image. So let's just say you can come over here into the box and you're going to say something like, you can put whatever you want in there, skyscraper, skyscrapers on a rainy day. And then you can select different styles. If you just select none right here, um, it's gonna be more of like a, you know, I'll just let you uh, see this, but it'll be like a regular, regular realistic image. Um, we'll push enter right there and then you can go ahead and see, <clears throat> it's going to create and it's going to show you the timeline or the progress bar right here. And it's going to give us some different options. So you can go ahead and click these and then you can go and um, add some more pages right here like I'm doing. And then we'll come over here and we'll just put these on the page and we can go and look at them and see what they kind of look like, right? So we'll just go ahead and make these, um, expand these by just dragging like that. Um, this one, I you can see some cars down here and it's kind of looking at a giant building here, a skyscraper. Um, but it might be um, at first look, it might be kind of difficult to, to see what you're actually looking at. So then we would come over here and we would look at this one and I'm gonna go ahead and just make that one bigger. This one's a lot um, nicer, I think, and you can definitely tell what you're looking at. You're looking, you're kind of in the middle of the street and you're looking straight up at the uh, skyscrapers. Um, and then you can look at this one. This one is another one that uh, would be a little bit difficult to kind of understand what's going on. Um, and then this one I think is pretty good. So we'll just drag that one and look at it as well. Um, so <clears throat> at first glance, they actually look pretty good, right? You can see a little skyscraper in the back. Um, and, and you can see the fog and all that. So, um, you know, I would say we're about two out of four. We're pretty good. But let's go and add another page. Let's go and keep that same prompt. Um, a lot of times I'll like to highlight this and push copy just in case I lose my prompt. Um, but I'm gonna go and maybe look at, um, you can see select all. I'm gonna go with, you can go with concept art or dreamy. I like this one right here. And then you have to put your cursor back in the box and then you have to push the enter button. There's no actual enter button uh, to click with your mouse. You actually have to push the enter button. And then it'll go out and it's going to create them in a different style for us so we can look at what that looks like when it's done right here. So they're starting to be produced and you can see that these are just gonna be a lot more um, fun to look at. They're gonna be a lot more um, promotable on your social media uh, platforms. I mean, just look at these. We'll go ahead and add these uh, real quick, two, three, four, and I'll just throw that one on there. We'll throw that one on there. And this is kind of what I would do in order to see what the image actually looks like is blowing these up. It's doing a lot better job with the dreamy uh, style. So I'm gonna go like that and drag this uh, like so. These are just so much better, I think, but you, if you want something realistic or dark, these ones worked pretty good, the, the normal mode. If you want something dreamy, a little bit more cartoonistic, something like that, a little bit more creative, then I think that these ones work really, really well too. So this is kind of how I use this, super easy 
to use uh, the AI image creator. And I find that it is pretty darn good as far as um, if you um, use Mid Journey, you can get some really good uh, AI images created for you as well. But I find that if you're already paying for Canva Pro, it pays for itself. Um, you, you're already using Canva to create your social media graphics, to create your business uh, graphics, to create your YouTube channel art, logos, et cetera, et cetera, right? And so it makes sense to just stay inside of Canva. And I find that this is almost just as good as Mid Journey with the um, images that it's created. It's actually pretty insane. Um, and so I really, really like this. It's very high quality. So you can come over here and you could just say something like um, adult li male lion on a hill with wind um, blowing. Something like that, right? You can really start getting very specific. We can go with dreamy. We could also go with some different ones like playful, um, concept art. Um, psychedelic if you want some really but let's go with anime on this one and then remember you've got to put your cursor in here and then push enter and then it'll go and start creating and rendering and we'll be back in just a second images are coming in and just look at this right like you can do so much with this kind of art we'll just grab a couple of these and um and uh, a quick tip for you is that when you exit out of these right like let's say you like these you definitely need to um you can generate more like this you can even generate a video i'll make another video on that but you definitely want to click on these um if nothing else to save them and just go like this right this is a quick tip save them and then come back down if you want to try the same thing out and we would come back over here and maybe I want to go with like the film, uh, the film one right here and then push enter with the same prompt. That way we can really um, get, you know, use these if we want to. Um, I mean, these are really, really good right here. You can use these for print on demand. You can use these for all kinds of stuff, right? So we have this and we just have some really good art right here that this is just creating some really good um, art. This is more anime based right here. You can put these on t-shirts, so forth, do some really cool things with. And then we can come over here and look at these right here as well. I think that this one did a really good job as well right here. So you got some really cool ones. So I think that you're getting the concept of like that you don't really need a mid journey anymore when you have these high quality images being created. Um, I'm not seeing any better results on mid journey. I think that they're using a similar M engine in order to get these. I mean, these are looking really, really good. You can see the wind right there. He's up on a hill. I mean, this just looks really good. You can see his hair on his mane uh, right here is, and there's clearly wind blowing right here. And it just looks very, um, the, the geometrics of this lion and everything look super, super good. And here is the other one right here. So, um, I really, really like using the AI, um, the Canva AI image generator. And I think you can get some amazing results using this tool. Even the feet and everything are really good on this. Um, you know, even six months ago, you wouldn't be able to get images quite like this without them being messed up um, with having some weird features and, and limbs and so forth. The AI generator does really well with animals and buildings and structures and things like that. So um, this is the way to do it. And then obviously, if you find something and um, you're using um, Canva Pro, you'd be able to just come up here to Magic's uh, switch right over here. And then you could go and uh, switch the resize option right over here. And let's just say you're doing this for a YouTube thumbnail. So you would just click this YouTube thumbnail right over here. You would push continue. And then you have an option right over here to resize everything or just resize this design. And then we would just resize the design and it will open up in another window where we have the uh, perfect size for uh, YouTube, right? So you can come over here and uh, start creating our YouTube channel 
are in our YouTube thumbnail right here. And then we can put some text right here and so forth. So um, hopefully you got value from this. Um, if you're brand new to the channel, we are going to be publishing um, a lot of tutorials on how to use Canva um, the right way, how to use Canva for business, how to use Canva for social media and so forth. So this is a brand new channel. I've been using Canva for years and I'm excited to um, bring these tutorials to you. So you may, you want to make sure that you hit that like button, make sure you just subscribe so you can get all the good information that's going to be coming from this channel, Canva Creatives Hub. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.